How's it going? It has been a long week. I'm sure not only for me, but for you. The negativity is out of control. The lies are out of control. Um, I wanted to weigh in a little bit on the verifiably false, hateful, manipulative, ugly, and frankly ridiculous texts being sent out into this community. Um, by Gro Tallahassee. As a former candidate, I know that I could not control every supporter, every post, every opponent in, in the race. That's just, we know that's not how this works, but you still have a responsibility as the candidate to lead with integrity and honesty. And this is just a shocking new low. Politics is ugly. We know that in an ideal world, we would be debating the merits of our different visions for Tallahassee, our different views on how we grow, how we move forward, and what policies might that take for us to, to reach our ideal visions for Tallahassee. But that is not what is happening here. That's not what is happening here at all. Um, What's happening is frankly disgusting. We need our community members to stand against it. We need the, the candidates involved to stand against this. I would not hesitate for a second if a colleague of mine or even a candidate who I was not supporting was being lied about and their, and their opponent's tactics were what we're seeing today. I wouldn't have a problem, I would not hesitate because we can debate the merits, we can speak in truth and lead with integrity, and we can still disagree. Shame on our elected officials, shame on our candidates um, who are working with Grow Tallahassee to send out these extremist and hateful and knowing false um, texts into our community. Um, I have I have not been around forever. I know that, like I said, politics is ugly, but in the, in the 12 years I've been following Tallahassee politics, I have never seen uh, candidates stoop this low um, with, the, with the lies and with the false manipulation or the, the false information and, and manipulation. Um, I think that they are getting desperate. I think that the business interests, the status quo, um, are running scared and resorting to these kinds of tactics. We are trying to build and have succeeded in building a multiracial, multi-generational um, coalition of everyday working people um, that are gonna, that, that want to reform our government, that want to make things better for everyone in Tallahassee, not just the special interests, not just the people who have a financial stake in what happens. I am proud to be a part of that change. I am proud to work with all of you um, who are a part of that change. We need to demand better of our elected officials. We need to demand better of our candidates. No progress has ever been made without disagreement. No change has ever come um, without a fight, without a struggle. I think change by its nature is divisive, but things can be divisive and be be guided by love, be guided by truth and honesty, and, and that is the kind of candidate and leader that I want to be. And I know that I can fall short, but this is not personal. This is about how high the stakes are for this community and what this moment demands of us. So I encourage every single one of you to do your research, to learn, to hold your leaders accountable, and to hold yourself accountable as well to lead with courage, to lead with honesty. It's not easy. This, these are people we're working with. These are people we live with. These are people we serve with, who we've grown up with. Um, but it is just wrong, and it's not about the candidate you support. It's not about the vision that you support. I mean, that is certainly true with your vote, and you should vote with your conscience, and you should vote with the candidate who you agree with most and trust the most. Um, but we are not gonna let this get us down. We have got bigger fish to fry, more voters to talk to, more people to engage. Um, we know that we deserve better, 
and we know the truth. So I wanted to weigh in. Those are some of my thoughts. Feel free to share this video, um, correct the record, and come out and help us these next 11 days. Um, we're at the finish line, and I cannot thank you enough for being a part of this and for giving me the opportunity to serve. All right, that's all for now.